Hi, it's Dee, and today I just wanted to show you another bear I just acquired, and I added to the bear den, and it appears to be an early Gun teddy bear, so what I think, I've done research, and I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form, um, I believe he's an early Gund uh, from the late 1930s to the early 1940s, and the reason I feel that way is because a lot of the Gun bears had these strange-looking googly eyes. As you can see, I believe they're made out of some kind of celluloid that got a little cloudy over time. And um, it's just like uh, adorable. He has a little tongue that's sticking out. And he has a stitched nose. He has velveteen lined ears, paw pads, and hind legs. And um, he's mohair. He's straw stuffed. And inside he has some kind of etern in internal squeaker but it's no longer operable and um, it feels like a spring-loaded type of apparatus that's in there. I don't know um, what it was. Maybe it was some kind of a squeaker or a growler, but um, he also came with this original bow tie that looks of the age period. It's a pre-tied silk bow tie that has little hand-painted polka dots on it and uh, his head swivels fully it does uh 360 degrees in all directions his arms are immobile and just stitched um onto the bear and so are his legs and um now the weird thing about him is his paw his hind legs and the paw pads have heels on them i have never seen a bear with heels and as you can see how strange that looks a bear with heels so um that's another thing about him He's very cartoonish looking, as you can see. He looks like a cartoon character, almost as if he's um, a bit of a, like a mouse or some kind of other animal. And he's less bear-like than most of the bears that I collect. And unfortunately, I not, I'm not too fond of him. I'll be quite honest with you. I generally like um, the jointed German bears. And, um, but the one thing that led me to him was that he was so inexpensive. I just had to have him and add him onto my collection for a good deal is something I can't give up. And so if I didn't get him for as cheap as I did, I would have never, ever, ever added him to my collection. And uh, again, it's because I'm not too fond of this cartoonish style bear. Let me show you actually also his eyes and what I do like about him. So watch his pupils. Did you see that? I like that. I think that's actually cute. So um, that's that's like uh, something that endears me to him a little more. And the fact that he's mohair. I don't like um, bears that are made out of synthetic man-made fibers. I like mohair bears. And that's uh, something that I do like about him. And, uh, you know, that, that endears me to him. And... Uh, so again, I don't know how old he is. I do know he is old. Um, he's, you know, he wasn't made in the 80s or the 70s or the 60s. Um, you can see some age. Um, again, I'm guessing 30s, 40s, sometime around there. Perhaps maybe a little older, maybe even the late 20s. Again, I don't know. If you know, write a comment below as I'm not a bear expert. But uh, let me show you him uh, also. The funny part about him is his legs. His legs are really, really, really long. And uh, his body is quite weird shaped and out of proportion. As you can see, he's also very flat. This is a very flat teddy bear. And uh, usually teddy bears are more robust and chubby. And this guy is just uh, more sinewy and long. And... Uh, I feel like little wires actually in his arm as I pick him up and his back. Let me show you. He he's uh, again, he's a uh, mohair and he's got a lot of mohair. There's not too much loss for such an old bear, which is uh, quite, you know, nice. Um, generally, you'll see these things naked with like barely any fur left. And he's got the cutest little tail. It's like a nubby, stubby little like nugget of a tail. And that I thought was really cute. He has those crazy heels again. And uh, again, he's really flat and skinny. He is just not uh, rotund and chubby. And uh, 
So yeah, so I thought I'd share them with you. And uh, let me uh, swivel his head before I go. So now he's got a, a different uh, style and pose just to show you how cute he is. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, if you collect bears, tell me all about your collection below. I'd love to hear from you. Bye for now.